Welcome everybody. I'm going to show you how to build the Boost C++ libraries with Visual Studio 2010. First of all, we need to get Boost. So go to the Boost.org website and press the Get Boost button. Download the newest version or whichever version you like to use in your project. Maybe you have dependencies for an older version, you can select an older version. So just press download and it'll take you to a Sorge Forge page. These are all the same, they're just compressed with different formats. The 7-zip is considerably smaller than the others, so I used that one. Extract the archive you downloaded into this folder. I used um, H libraries and then boost 1.45. If you go into this folder, you can see uh, some of the files, and it's almost ready to use because Boost is some of Boost is header only, and the other part of Boost needs to be built. So the next step is to build Boost with Visual Studio 2010. To do this, I assume you have Visual Studio 2010 installed. If you go to the Start menu, you will see the Visual Studio Tools. Submenu, select the Visual Studio command prompt. This will set your environment variables for use with Visual Studio 2010 C compiler. Now go to the folder where you extracted your boost sources. So I did it in libraries. So we see the same content here. The first thing we need to do is to call the boot strap command. Bootstrap builds an executable called bgem. bgem is basically the boost build system. It automates all the building that needs to be done and um, it's already done so here you can see the executable that we generated and we can just run it from this command prompt to build all the libraries. To do that we set bgem. Toolset is, um, yeah we're building with Visual Studio 2010, so we want to set that to boost. Then we also need to choose which variant we're going to build, the debug or the release version. I used both versions because I'm building my application both debug and release. So variant is debug, comma, release. So with the comma you can select more options from the set of options you have. I use multiple threads, so I use threading is multi and then I want to link the boost libraries statically in my application so I do not need to supply DLL files so you can supply a link is static to create static libraries now we can press enter and the boost bgm executable will take care of building So Boost has finished building. We can find the include files in the Boost directory, and we can find the library files in the stage slash lib directory. Now we need to tell Visual Studio where to find these files. I already created a test project to see if Boost is working. As you can see, there are red lines, so there are errors. It says, can it open include file? No such file or directory. We need to specify where to find the boost header files. Go to the Tools menu, Options menu, Project and Solutions, VC++ directories. This is how it was done in previous versions of Visual Studio. In Visual Studio 2010, it says this option has been deprecated. We need to use property sheets. We can find the property sheets under the Property tab. This opens up the Property Manager. There are two property pages, one for debug and one for release. Double click the property page. Here you can see that we can set the include path and the library path. So let's add our boost to this path variable. So this opens up this window. You can double click here. This shows a button right here. Click the button navigate to your boost library select the root do not go deeper 
press select folder, press OK. It is configured. The library path, do it the same way. Press edit, double click here, press the button, navigate to the libraries there in the stage slash lib folder, select folder, press OK. Now press apply, press OK. Normally you need to specify which libraries you want to link. Boost uses a mechanism called auto linking, so it automatically links the right library for your setup. So you do not need to do any more work on this. Let's see if it works. It succeeded. Let's run. We can see that the regular expression worked and it extracted a hello from the string right here. And we can see that the shared pointer deleted the hello object it was holding when it went out of scope because the destructor is called right here. So our boost implementation is working. Thank you.